In today's video, we're going to reveal how big the universe really is. The universe is 13.8 billion years old since it started expanding, and until now, scientists figured that it is still expanding and at a higher rate than before. In theory, nothing in the universe travels at the speed of light, but the universe itself is expanding way faster than the speed of light. Every second, every minute on Earth, the universe is expanding at a tremendous speed. As a human being, it is impossible to imagine. If the universe is expanding, how big is the universe really? Scientists have been working on observing and studying the vastness of the universe and have created a map called the Observable Universe, where we can locate and track countless stars and galaxies that we cannot see with our naked eye but can be observed from here on Earth. We start by measuring the size of the Earth, the home of almost 8 billion people. Earth's diameter is a staggering 12,742 kilometers. You can fit in approximately a million buses to cover the Earth's diameter, and almost 100 billion people to cover the surface area of the Earth. Our planet is huge, but compared to the size of the universe, we are just a tiny bit of dust floating in space. The nearest heavenly body to Earth is our own moon, with a distance of 384,000 kilometers, and that distance can cover approximately 30 Earths, and we can see it clearly in the night sky. Our neighboring planet, Mars, which scientists and astronauts are planning to inhabit in the upcoming years, is further than you think. It is a staggering 155 million kilometers away from the Earth, and it will take us almost 21 months to reach the red planet. Radio signals will take approximately 20 minutes to reach Mars, and the speed of radio waves is about the same as the speed of light, at 300 million meters per second. As we zoom out in our solar system, we will find the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter, which astonishingly has 79 satellites and amounts to approximately 140,000 kilometers in diameter. That is almost 14 times the size of the Earth. Jupiter is famous for its Great Red Spot, which is a massive storm that has existed for almost 357 years. The storm is so massive, you can fit three Earths inside. At the very edge of our solar system, we can see Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun and from the Earth which is almost 4.3 billion kilometers away. Voyager 2 is the first probe ever to have observed Neptune, and it took almost 12 years to reach the planet at an incredible speed of 19 kilometers per second. The Sun, the only star in our solar system, is right at the center of it, with a distance of 152.42 million kilometers away from planet Earth. And even at that distance, the Sun is very visible to Earth and has a diameter of 1.4 million kilometers. We can fit almost a million Earths into the Sun. That's how big the Sun really is, and it is important and vital to our entire solar system as it is its gravitational pull that holds all the eight planets together, cruising together in the vast universe. If you think that the Sun is big enough, think again. According to NASA, the Sun is only one out of at least a hundred billion stars in the entire galaxy, the Milky Way. Imagine the Sun, but hundreds of billions of them fitting into one galaxy. The Milky Way is a vast cluster of solar systems, and to put it into perspective, the next star that is closest to our home planet Earth, besides the Sun, would be Proxima Centauri, which is almost 4.2 light years away, or almost 40 trillion kilometers away. That's a lot of zeros. Or, to put it another way, it is 268,770 astronomical units, and one astronomical unit is 150 million kilometers, or equivalent to the distance of the Earth from the Sun, which means that the Proxima Centauri is almost 269,000 times farther from planet Earth. Let's zoom out once more. We now arrive at the brightest star in our night sky, Sirius. Sirius is quite big and it's almost twice the size of our own sun. It is so bright that we can easily see it in our night sky. Its distance from Earth is 8.61 light years away, or almost 9 trillion kilometers. Imagine driving at a constant speed of 100 kilometers per hour. It will take us 900 billion years, or about 70 times the age of the universe, just to get there. And as we go further and further into the Milky Way, we will find the largest and biggest star humans have ever discovered. UY Scuti, with almost 2 billion kilometers in diameter. Imagine our Sun with UY Scuti. It would make Saturn the closest planet to it, just like Mercury is to our Sun now. And it is 1,700 times larger than our own Sun. Proxima Centauri, Sirius, and UY Scuti 
are just a tiny particle in comparison to the whole Milky Way galaxy. And in this tiny dot right here is where the Earth and the solar system are located. Yes, that tiny dot right there is surrounded by hundreds and thousands of planets and stars, including our very own. To put it into perspective, the whole Milky Way galaxy amounts to 6 billion astronomical units, and the farthest that a probe has ever reached into the galaxy is only 69 astronomical units with the Voyager 1 spacecraft, which was launched in 1998. Imagine a probe that was launched two decades ago only reached about 69 astronomical units compared to the 6 billion astronomical unit diameter of the Milky Way galaxy. It will take approximately 1.8 billion years to cover the entire Milky Way. But it doesn't end with the Milky Way galaxy. The closest galaxy to the Milky Way is the much larger Andromeda galaxy. If the Milky Way harbors an estimated 100 to 200 billion stars, Andromeda is the home of about 1 trillion stars. Yes, you heard that right, a trillion stars, with hundreds of thousands of planets orbiting their own star systems. It is a massive galaxy that we can barely see with our naked eye, a white patch in the middle of the night sky. Just imagine staring at the sky, looking at Andromeda, and realizing that you are staring into a trillion stars whirling inside that galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is 2.5 million light years away from our planet Earth, and its diameter is pretty huge. It is approximately 200,000 light years in diameter, or 140 billion astronomical units. It is almost twice the size of the Milky Way Galaxy. That's how big Andromeda is, and it is in fact moving closer to our galaxy at about 113 kilometers per second, but it will not reach our galaxy for the next 4 billion years. Andromeda and the Milky Way are not the only galaxies in the universe. In fact, these two galaxies are just two tiny galaxies that make up the gigantic universe. Andromeda and the Milky Way are part of what scientists call the local group. This group consists of a total of 36 galaxies with a span of 10 million light years, and each of these galaxies is home to billions and trillions of stars and planets that humans can only observe. Zooming out even further, we are joined by other local groups or groups of galaxies in the Virgo supercluster, which consists of 100 other local groups, and each dot in this picture represents a single galaxy, a single galaxy with billions or trillions of stars, and somewhere in that dot of the Milky Way resides our solar system with the Earth inside it. It is nearly impossible to imagine, but the Virgo supercluster has been approximated to have the size of 110 million light years across. And to put this into perspective, this is the exact number of kilometers on how wide this supercluster is. But believe me when I tell you that this is still nothing compared to the rest of the universe, as the Virgo supercluster is part of the Lanikia supercluster, which consists of 100,000 galaxies. Yes, 100,000 more galaxies inside this homogeneous supercluster amassing a total of 550 million light years in diameter. The observable universe. This dot, this small region, is the entire Lanikia supercluster. The vast supercluster that harbors 100,000 galaxies, all in this small spot, is nearly insignificant compared to the size of the whole observable universe, which is home to approximately 2 trillion galaxies. 2 trillion. The observable universe contains an estimated 200 billion trillion stars, most of which are surrounded by planets orbiting around them. And our universe, as of today, has a size we can never imagine, with an approximate diameter of 93 billion light years. And what's even more frightening is what lies beyond the observable universe. It will always be a mystery how big the universe really is. It could be possible that the observable universe as we know it today is just another tiny piece of dust in the middle of a desert, a tiny drop of rain in a vast ocean. That's how big the universe might really be. So, what does this mean for us? From the Sun, to the entire solar system, to the Milky Way galaxy and its neighbor Andromeda, to the whole Virgo supercluster, to the Lanikia supercluster, and finally, the entire observable universe. We can now barely imagine how incredibly small we are compared to the known universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation by Alan Guth, a physics professor at MIT, the true size of the universe may be 600 sextrillion times bigger than the size of the observable universe, which will make the observable universe today a very, very 
minuscule part of the universe. As humans living on planet Earth, we can never comprehend how big the universe is. All we can do is theorize how vast it really is. We don't have the capacity yet to travel at the speed of light to investigate these galaxies, these superclusters, and to know what really lies beyond. The Earth, as we may know it, is incredibly small compared to the size of the universe. To put it another way, the size of our Earth, or even our galaxy, is very insignificant. And what's fascinating is that even this insignificant world has a unique 8 billion people inhabiting it. And there's a large chance that we are not the only ones. With 2 trillion stars and thousands of trillions of planets whirling in the vast space, it's hard to think that there is no other civilization or other intergalactic race that thrived after the Big Bang. With a universe this big, it's scarier to think that we are alone than to think that we are not alone. Do you think we are the only ones in this universe? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any space news. See you in the next video.